What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on... Tuesday, July the 25th. A pleasure to have you with us today. My friend over here, Alex Labrunery from Labrunery Financial, came in here. Look, you, you look like a, a, a spring today. Well, hopefully it'll bring some water. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, Alex. But, you know, uh, you're still feeling in pretty good mood. We're in, you, you say, we're still in the bull market. Yeah, our baby bull market. Baby bull market, even though it goes up, it goes up and down. But yes. for the most part... We're up. That's right. I mean, year to date, it, we we've got um, you know it's safe to look at one statements again, uh, as we've noted in the past, because value, we've some portfolios, not everyone, of course, but um, have regained some of the losses from twenty two. Um, the bond market is seems to be leveling out, and the stocks, um, you know, have some of them. The technology stocks have just soared um, from their October lows up almost 30 or 40 percent, many of them. Is there anything that could happen? Uh, that, this isn't a fair question, yeah. really, because you're not a mind reader. But anything that could happen later this fall or winter that you see on the horizon that could upset the apple cart? Yeah, to, I think something very important and big, so, um, earnings are coming out. So we're this later this month, um, we're going to see how corporate America performed as far as earnings are concerned in the second quarter, which ended June 30th. And we need to note that in the last three quarters, the S&P 500, the stock, the stock market, those earnings on an aggregated basis have declined three quarters in a row now. So so what does that mean? That means the, the pressure is on for um, the bulls to find stocks that are actually increasing earnings because what shareholders want um, are stocks that have increasing earnings, not earnings that are slowly declining. Okay. And so that poses a giant challenge for the U.S. market. Now, I read something a couple of weeks ago, which I, I, I did not understand at all. They were talking about the fact that the job market is in pretty good shape. In fact, Excellent. it's a sizzling yeah. job market. Yeah. But that caused stocks to drop a little bit. Why would it cause stocks to drop when the job market is so in, good? In this case, I think because all eyes are on the Federal Reserve Chair, uh, Powell, who has, if the job market is so hot and wages keep increasing, that's pressure upward on inflation. So, so that, that means the job market is good, Wages increasing, people have more money to spend, and when you spend more money, that uh, can bring on inflation. Inflation yes. increases, and then they have to uh, think that they're going to raise uh, interest rates. Correct. Which then causes the stock market to fall. Correct. That's right. Okay. You've got it right. You get an, <laughs> that, that, uh, you get that's an a, a real plus. quick. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, yes. And so that's, uh, but Americans, you know, want to work, and uh, and we all need to work, most of us. So that is good to have. Um, hopefully, we have a soft landing, and we can have best of both worlds: higher wages and lower inflation. And if we get to that sort of uh, land of higher wages and lower inflation, might be next year, um, 2024. Then that would be an excellent place to land post COVID. Mm -hmm. So that is still a possibility, I think, a strong one. Actually. And where do we stand with our debt? Well, that, you know, as we noted last month, we all need to be very concerned about the runaway deficits in Washington, you know, in um, state and local governments around the country, in corporate America, and in the households of America. We are a very much indebted nation, and that needs to, you know, rectify itself over a few times. And that means living within our means, 
not to sound like a Dutch uncle. No, I know what you mean. But um, the student loan um, forgiveness was denied by the Supreme Court last month. And so September 1, I think a lot of younger households will ha expect to pay their student loans again starting, I think, September of, of this year, so n just a month or so away. That puts pressure on consumption, and um, that just also takes money away from saving for retirement. Mm -hmm. We actually, in our office, uh, have some um, younger you know, college students that are interns um, who have been putting together financial planning and budgeting seminars for students in our area. You know, any, anyone's welcome, but we've got a program to help MU students or any, you know, Columbia mm -hmm. College, Stevens, anyone or in, elsewhere in the mid-Missouri area that wants to go onto our website and maybe listen to a little bit about how they can take control of their planning. Okay. And, and the website we'll, address is? Labrunery.com. And we're going to have some on-campus seminars that last 20 minutes, so they're short. And attendees get a gift certificate to Sparky's. Okay. So that would be something to get young people out to talk about how they can manage their student loan debts and the, once the, they graduate. The, yes, and the younger you start uh, saving, the better off you are. It's amazing. If you put just a little bit aside when you're young and get into the habit of doing that, yes. when you get my age and it comes it comes a lot faster than you think it does. Yes, that's uh, right. And what young Americans need to do now, because it's a little different when we were their age, Paul, is that they have to make their loan payments and also save for their future. Yeah. And so it's, tough. it's a balancing act. Yeah, it is tough. And may need some, you know, advice or some use website tools okay. to see how they can make it happen. Um so Alex, but as everything in general, are you more optimistic now than you were a year uh, ago? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So you think that yes. uh, we're on the right track? Yes. Yes. Okay, well that's that's a nice way to, <laughs> to, to midsummer. It's nice. <laughs> it, it, it's real nice, and uh, you can. We, you know, I remember last year we were talking about when those statements come. Just put them aside. <laughs> Don't open them up. But it's safe to open them up it now is because safe. It's, they're looking a little yeah, bit better. Safe to okay. go into the water. Uh, anything yeah. else you want to mention? We're just about out of time. No, um, we just. I think focus on earnings uh, will be a big event in, in, this month, and yeah. then have a wonderful summer. Real What's quick, I wanted to it? ask you, I read in another article that China has defaulted on some of the payments to the United States. I didn't see that, but yes. th I think they're... And that's something that yeah. they need to look into. Yes. Okay. Yes. All yeah. right, Alex, if you want more information, you can give them a call at Labrunery Financial, 449-5313, or check it out on the website, and they've got these seminars on campus specifically for young people. For young people. And you will find the, the date locations on the uh, labrunery.com.com .com website. Bye-bye.